how to adjust bass on a computer, how to raise or lower the amount of bass in your computer's speaker output. Windows has a built-in bass boost audio enhancement. However, it may not be available on all devices, depending on the quality of your speakers. On Mac, some apps like Apple Music have a built-in equalizer that allows you to adjust the bass. Both Windows and Mac have third-party equalizer apps you can use to adjust the bass on your system. Method 1. Using Windows Sound Settings 1. Click the Windows Start button image titled Windows Start. It's the icon with the Windows logo in the lower left corner. 2. Type Sound and click Sound Settings. It's the first option at the top of the Windows Start menu. The opens the Sound Settings menu. Alternatively, you can find this menu in the Settings menu by click System followed by Sound on the left. You can also right-click the speaker icon in the taskbar and click Open Sound Settings. 3. Click Sound Control Panel. It's below related settings to the right. This opens sound settings in the control panel. 4. Double-click your audio device. This may be your speakers, headphones, HDMI out, or other audio devices. Double-click whichever device you are using for your for your audio output. You may first have to click the playback tab in the upper left corner of the sound window. 5. Click the enhancements tab. It's at the top of the properties window for your audio output device. The enhancements tab is not available for all audio devices. For example, enhancements may not be available for laptop speakers however, it may be available if you connect a pair of speakers or headphones either via the 3mm headphone jack or via Bluetooth. 6. Click the checkbox windows check next to bass boost. It's the first option in the list of enhancements. This enables bass boost for your device. 7. Click bass boost and click settings, optional. You can adjust the settings for individual enhancements. To adjust the settings for bass boost, click bass boost so that it is highlighted and click settings at the bottom of the window. 8. Adjust the frequency and boost level and click OK. The frequency determines what part of the audio spectrum receives a boost. Boost level determines how much the frequency is increased. Use the drop down menus to select the frequency and boost level. Click OK when you are done. 50 to 75 Hz is usually within the sub bass range. 75 to 250 Hz is the bass range. 250 to 500 Hz is within the lower mid range. And 500 to 600 Hz is within the mid range settings. 9. Click Apply. This applies your audio enhancement settings. You can now click OK to close the window. Method 2. Using Apple Music on Mac. 1. Open the Apple Music app. It has a red icon with a music note in the middle. Click the Apple Music icon in the dock or in the Applications folder to launch Apple Music. Audio adjustments in Apple Music only apply to Apple Music. They do not apply to other apps on your Mac. 2. Click Window. It's in the menu bar at the top of the screen. 3. Click Equalizer. This opens the equalizer for Apple Music. 4. Click the checkbox next to On. This turns the equalizer on and applies the settings to your music. 5. Drag the slider bars on the left up. The slider bars on the left control the bass frequencies. The slider bars above 32 and 64 control the sub bass frequencies. The slider bars above 125 and 250 control the bass frequencies. The slider bars above 500 control the mid range frequencies. Alternatively, you can select one of the presets using the drop down menu at the top. Method 3. Using Equalizer APO for Windows. 1. Download and install Equalizer APO. Equalizer APO is a free equalizer you can download for Windows. You will need to restart your computer after the installation process. Equalizer APO may not work with some audio devices, such as laptop speakers. 
however, it will work with headphones or external speakers. Use the following steps to download and install Equalizer APO. Go to https colon slash slash sourceforge.net slash projects slash equalizer oppo in a web browser. Click the green button that says download. Click the equalizer apo 64-1.2.1.exe file in your downloads folder or web browser. Click yes to allow the equalizer apo to modify your system. Click next to begin the installation process. Click I agree to agree to the terms and conditions. Click Browse to select an install location, optional, and click Next to continue. Click Install. Click the checkbox next to all audio devices you want to use Equalizer APO with and click OK. Select Reboot now and click Finish. 2. Download and install the Peace extension. Peace is an extension for Equalizer APO that adds a more user friendly interface. It also has additional features such as preset equalizer settings and the ability to add gain to bass frequencies. Use the following steps to download and install Peace. Go to https colon slash slash sourceforge.net slash projects slash peace hyphen equalizer hyphen oppo hyphen extension in a web browser. Click the green button that says download. Click peace setup.exe in your downloads folder or web browser. Click Yes to allow Peace to make changes to your system. Click Install. Click Yes to complete the installation. 3. Open Peace. Peace has a blue icon that resembles a peace sign with two lines off to the side. Click the icon in your Windows Start menu to open Peace. 4. Click the image below Full Interface. It's the image on the right. This opens the full interface with all features. 5. Adjust the equalizer. Move the slider bars on the left up to adjust the bass frequencies. The slider bars below 10 and 21 control the sub bass frequencies on your computer. The slider bars below 42 and 83 control the bass range frequencies. The slider bars below 83 and 166 control the low mid range frequencies and the slider bars below 333 and 577 control the mid-range frequencies. Alternatively, you can click one of the pre-saved settings in the box in the lower left corner to load it. Try Bass Boost or Bass Boost 2 for example. Equalizer APO and Peace may not work on all audio output devices, laptop speakers for example. If you don't hear any changes when adjusting the equalizer settings, Try connecting a headset or pair of speakers. 6. Click Effects, Optional. If you want to enhance the bass further, you can add some more gain to the bass under Effects. 7. Turn the bass gain knob up. Click and drag the bass gain up to turn it up. This adds more gain to the bass frequencies. 8. Adjust the bass frequency knobs. The adjust which frequencies the bass gain is applied to. Between 0 to 75 Hz controls the sub bass frequencies. 75 Hz, 250 Hz controls the bass frequencies. 250 to 500 Hz controls the low mid range frequencies. 500 to 600 Hz controls the mid range frequencies. Method 4. Using EQ Mac for Mac. 1. Go to https colon slash slash eqmac.app in your computer's web browser. This is the website that allows you to download eqmac. It is an equalizer you can download for your Mac audio system. 2. Click download. It's the green button at the top of the page. 3. Install eqmac. You will need to restart your Mac to finish the installation. Once EQMAC finishes downloading, do the following to install it. Double click the EQMAC.package file in your downloads folder or web browser. Verify the installation if prompted. Click continue. Click continue to install on the Mac hard drive. Click install. Click close applications if asked to close any applications before continuing. Enter your password and click continue. Click Restart Mac to restart your Mac. 
4. Open Launchpad. It's the rocket shaped icon in your Mac's dock. 5. Click the EQ Mac icon. It has a green icon that resembles a sound wave. Click the icon to open EQ Mac. You might have to scroll left or right to find the EQ Mac icon. You may also have to click open after clicking the icon. If you are asked if you want to send crash reports and analytic data, click accept all to agree to everything. 6. Turn the base knob to the left. To turn up the base knob, click it and drag it in a clockwise circular direction. This boosts the base for your Mac system. Alternatively, you can click advanced above the knobs and use the slider bars on the equalizer to adjust the frequencies. The slider bars on the left are used to control the bass frequencies. The ones furthest to the left adjust the lowest frequencies. The slider bars above 32 and 64 control the sub bass frequencies. The slider bars above 125 and 250 control the bass frequencies. The slider bars above 500 control the mid range frequencies. If you want to save your settings, click the plus, plus, sign above the knobs or equalizer and enter a name for your settings. Then click save. 